Kids 69 here at ID Cooling, where they have some interesting looking cooling solutions. You can see here, they've got a few of them in this case. Um, they got some of their case fans sitting on top, nicely um, isolated for sound. They've got a CPU cooler here, nice and shiny. I'll be looking at those later. And here, you can see their VGA. Let me just zoom in a bit, see, see what we can get for zoom. Okay. This one here, which is getting the wind tunnel effect, is cooling off the back plate. And down here, you can see this smaller one. Now, they do have solutions that are bigger than that. Don't worry, it's cooling off the chip. So you can see any of the wind tunnel effect, they're, they're taking advantage of that right away. Okay, moving down. I got some mini ITX solutions. And just keep moving down. Uh, some of their innovative CPU coolers. Bumpy bump. LED lighting solutions. Okay. Uh, and of course, everyone at Computex has to have something for the iPhone. Okay. Here is what they call their high level CPU cooling with uh, they got the vapor chamber base and the uh, the heat pipe at the top. Um, very nice standard looking thing. Let me zip over here. This is what we want to look at today. A cross age masterpiece of cooler. What they got here is this. They got a nice plate for the cooling. In this base, has the vapor chamber, and here we have the, the heat pipes. Now, instead of being sintered and sealed separately so that they only are meeting at the base, these are actually connected. So all of the cooling effect from the vapor chamber underneath goes all the way up the heat pipes directly. Now they say, in something like this very nice looking cooler here. You can see exactly the same thing going on. What you have here, instead of being sintered, it's actually, you can see, connected. And again, not a direct touch. They have the base on the top, and they got a solid base on the bottom. But they say that this can do 300 watt heat source. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so you can see. They actually have it here in print. 300 watt heat source. Super vapor liquid thermal conductivity system. Right there. So, that is a cooler that I would definitely like to see some more of in the future. While we're here, the other thing they wanted me to show you, well, everyone loves grass, right? Ooh, okay, I didn't see that one went off for a nice, heavy little cooler there. Small body, big use. Uh, they also have some nice VGA solutions. These are not yet using their, their dual technology. These are the standard vapor chamber systems. But they have some really nice looking designs, like for the, the newest video cards. Nice, solid. And they make their own fans. So, I'll show you this one more. They make their own fans. So they got their own fan designs. We're making larger, small video cards. Anyway, that's Kip69 here at ID Cooling. And goodbye.